Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a NEMA 1430 outlet, so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is turn off your breaker, and if this is a new circuit you haven't worked with, I would highly recommend that you actually test the, the wires as well. So what you want to do is if you need, if you have a metal box, you want to ground that as well um, as using your ground for later. So go ahead and strip the, uh, the insulation off the wires, do about an inch. And like I said, if this is a new circuit, once you strip one of the hots and the white, use your multimeter and make sure for hundred percent sure that the uh, electricity is off and you don't shock yourself. So here's the outlet. This is where the terminals terminate. Um, three of them, and then the green one or the bare copper wire, the ground is at the top. So if we take a look at the bottom uh, terminal, that's the white, it's right under the Allen wrench uh, screw where you'd put it in. You can see it actually says white, it's kind of hard to see, but it's there. So then on the uh, left and right, you're gonna see XXX and YYY, which is basically just means red and black or the hot wires. So that's where we'd wanna put those ones in. And then at the top, it says green, or green is basically the color that they use um, insulation wise for the ground. Or if you have just a bare copper wire, like in my case, that's totally fine as well. Um, and that's where you put the ground at the top of the outlet. So go ahead and put the white in the bottom, like I mentioned. And for now, just use your screwdriver with your Allen wrench bit and go ahead and put the terminals in the right place. So white is at the bottom, red and black are on both sides. And it's very important that basically only the copper wires in the terminal, there shouldn't be any insulation in the terminal because that's going to cause, you know, your, your uh, outlet to melt. So make sure it's just copper wire in there. And then go ahead and put your ground on the top there. It comes around on the side. Once you've screwed those in, then take your torque screwdriver, set it to 75 inch pounds and torque those down. So this is quite a bit of torque actually. So you might want to use a glove um, because the outlet kind of was digging into my hand, so I ended up doing that. And then go ahead and move the wires around, even pretend like you're trying to jam it into your metal box, and then retorque them down um, to make 100% sure that they're tight and to torque spec, because this is really important to make sure that the outlet doesn't you know, melt on you or cause a fire. Then you can go ahead and work the outlet into the box. So you want to make like little S shapes like a diamondback snake, uh, slithers. That's how you'd want to try and get the wires into the box to fit it in there. And then go ahead and just screw the outlet to the metal box. So it's just four screws, one on each side. So get these four screwed in. There's the third one and the fourth one over here on the right. Once we've done that, then go ahead and turn your breaker back on and we want to test to make sure that the voltage is correct. So go ahead and put one in the hot and one in the neutral and you'll see 119, that's good. Should say 119, 120. Do the other hot wire, 119 again, that's perfect. And the ground in the neutral should say zero. So 120 plus 120 is 240. It's a 240 volt outlet, so that's perfect. Then all you need to do is just put your cover on, screw that in with the four screws. There's a second one, third one, and the last one. And once you've done that, that's it. You are done. So go ahead and plug in your 1430 plug. So in our case, it's going to be the Tesla mobile adapter and plug it into your car. And as you can see, it's perfect. 24 amps, uh, which is the max you want to do, 80% of a 30 amp breaker and about 240 volts. So that's perfect and that's how you install it. So hope this helped.